So, one thing you need to know about uh, futurology is that it always starts, or must start, with a solid core. So, um, all of the tools and techniques and all the things I'm going to talk to you about now, I've been applying across all sorts of industries for a long period of time. Uh, and I'm agnostic to the, to, the situation I find myself, to the situation I find myself in. So when I work with an organization that's at the cutting edge, I start with a core of what their cutting edge is, and then I start to follow the uh, clues out to particular scenarios on the future. And when you find yourself out on a limb like that, as often as I do, you realize that you can't mess with the scenarios. You can't just find yourself in a place. So I don't have a picture of the future. I have a skill set that allows me, a toolkit that allows me to follow a path to a particular future. But you can't mess with it. You can't go looking at other scenarios. When you find yourself out on a limb like that, what you need to do is track back to the core, take on board the new information, and follow the logic again to its natural conclusion. And a very small change in input data can leave you in an entirely different space on the spectrum. And by the time you have identified a number of these scenarios, what will happen is you'll start to understand some of the key characteristics of the future and where you need to go. When you understand the key characteristics, you can set up early warning systems. You can identify that if it's going towards scenario two, these are the things to look out for. If it's going towards scenario five, these are the things that we're more likely to see coming down the line. That allows us to validate or eliminate scenarios as time goes on. So in looking into the future, you're not looking for a hard point to chase down. You're looking to be more aware of what's happening. The other thing that looking into the future allows you to do is drop some of your sacred cows. If you think there is an alternative in the future, then I think the point was made, you can treat uh, certain things that you do more like cattle than like pets. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that one again. Okay, so you're continually redefining the focus. So I'm going to take one scenario on the softer side of the spectrum, and I'm going to run through a sort of a thought experiment on that. 